on July 27th, 2022, the world stood still at 5.50 p.m. as reports were being released of Louisiana rapper Jay DeYoungin sadly passed outside of his family's residence. Jay's father, Kenyatta Scott, was also affected at the scene. At 5.50 p.m., the Louisiana police station received a call reporting a firearm use with somebody affected in the area. They quickly respond to a home with a bright blue Corvette parked in the driveway, along with a man who had sadly been affected by a firearm on the driveway of the house. The man on the driveway was Louisiana rapper Jay DeYoungin, who would be quick to get treatment on the scene before quickly getting transported by EMS to the nearest hospital. Officers learned quickly that there was another man involved who had been affected by a firearm as well, but that man was already being driven to the emergency room by a nearby neighbor. Now, word quickly spread to social media outlets, such as Say Cheese and others that rapper Jay DeYoungin was in critical condition. The only status given by sources close to the family was that he wasn't breathing an hour after the incident. Now, with Jay being taken into the emergency room, very quickly, ops must have been in the area following the ambulance that was driving Jay as officers would have to respond to a second incident of firearms being used at the hospital. Now, a vehicle had been destroyed due to firearms by whoever was following the ambulance, but luckily, no one in the end was affected. Investigators believe the two incidents were connected, and it may have even been a second try at getting Jay Jada Youngin. Now, rumors quickly started going around the internet that Jada Youngin passed away as credible sources online were tweeting about it. Now, this is when Jay's sister replied to all of these outlets, saying that he didn't pass and to stop spreading fake news. Now, a few hours passed with his family and friends no longer posting on social media, claiming that he's alive or anything. The clock would then turn to midnight as it was announced that Jay Youngin sadly passed as his condition was just too bad. The police would officially declare J.D. Youngin has sadly passed, and they also identified the second person that was affected, who was his father, Kenyatta Scott Sr. As news outlet Say Cheese would report on Instagram, alleging there had been a firearm incident in the parking lot of the hospital, with reports from the streets claiming ops went after Jay once again at the hospital. Now, just to make the situation even worse, this all occurred in the front of J.D. Youngin's mother's house, as multiple pictures posted on social media would show his mother and other relatives posing in front of the home and taking photos. Now, it wasn't long until people online would Google the address found in all of the videos going online. They noticed it was J.D. Youngin's family house. It revealed that multiple family members are registered to this address, but it most likely J.D. Youngin had his own crib somewhere else. Now, it wouldn't be too crazy to think that if somebody wanted to find Jay's whereabouts, they can easily just search the address and then just drive past the house every so often until you see the bright blue Corvette as the biggest giveaway to him being found that day was his blue Corvette sitting in the driveway of the house. The neighborhood this house is located in isn't one of the safest places either as police are currently investigating on who could have done this crime as it's pretty common where houses in the hood with supercars in the driveway are scouted on by a lot of people in the neighborhood very actively. Jay's Corvette really resembles young Dolph's Corvette that was also on the scene of his passing as well, and it just looked too similar. Another route the police are looking into is Jay's dad, as he could have been originally the main target in this situation. After doing investigation work, Jay DeYoungin's father, according to court documents, is very well known to the Louisiana Police Department. 
house, Jay's father listed the house of the scene of the crime as his own. And interestingly enough, his father, a 44 year old male, is a registered offender after a 2010 conviction. Then again in 2016, he was arrested again and charged with the exact same case, but including a battery charge. He had actually win the second case in court, but then in 2021, he was then featured on the local news after another arrest warrant was issued on the exact same charges as the last two, which is a four letter word that I'm not allowed to say here on YouTube. Now, police believe that Jay DeYoungin was the main target in this crime, but to not also rule out the possibility of Jay's father also being the main target for his countless cases in that area and with his court cases being very, very disturbing. Once news broke out of Jay DeYoungin's passing, it wasn't long until rappers started reacting as Young and Ace. A friend of Jay then wrote to Instagram this message. Damn, I wasn't even gonna come post, brother, cause this stuff been eating me inside. Cause we wasn't seeing eye to eye about some stuff that we could have rekindled. I wanted to call you so bad, brother, but it was just our pride in the way, dog. We was better than that stuff. We was going through some stuff so little, damn little brother. I hate even going through this stuff again and again. All my love goes out to your family. You know I love them like they're mine and that they always treated me like family. I always been in your corner. I always wanted you to win, brother. No matter what it was, I wish I could call you, brother. I'll trade all of these memories in just to make one more new one with you. At JD Youngin, I'm lost. I'm hurt. Broken twin. I love you forever. Leading into Jada Youngin's girlfriend and the mother of his child's reaction saying, thank God my last words to you were I love you. I hope you know how much though. I'm so hurt, bae. How could you just leave me like that? I would have never left you ever. One thing we could do is make each other smile. Such a kind hearted, sweet soul. The thing I admired about you the most is you forgave always. And that's all that really matters, baby. That's what God wants the most out of everyone. So I know you made him proud. First Maisie, now you. I don't know how I can keep going. I'm so hurt. My best friend, my headache, my husband, my everything. My baby, you did not deserve this. I still can't believe it. Watch out of Maisie for me, my love. I'll never forget you and what we had. I fell in love with you the first day I met you and haven't been a day without talking since. This is going to be so hard for me, but I know you would want me to stay strong. I'll try, but I don't know. Now sources claim from people that were at the scene and just watched the last bit of what happened, a car ran up onto their driveway. Somebody hopped out of the vehicle, noticed JD Youngin walking to his car with his father just near him. A small argument then brewed up before firearms were just being used. With firearms being used in the area, everybody was ducking for cover that was around and they weren't really watching what happened at that point. All sources claim is that the people that did it hopped back into their vehicle before driving away. Now rest in peace Jada Youngin. If you were a fan of his music or you enjoyed a song here and there, leave a like on the video. I'm curious how many fans are watching today. It's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.